My name is Rafael, I am from Venezuela, and I've been here in Shenzhen already for more than eight years. I am a content creator. Actually, I came here three years ago. It's wonderful, it has a very special magic because it's very different from what we used to see in Shenzhen. You can find local food here, you can find a lot of traditions, a lot of actually villagers who grew up and live here. On the first filming day of Shurfu, a documentary series produced by Shenzhen Daily about Shenzhen's local intangible cultural heritage, Raphael visited Liangmo village in Gongkeng, where he got up close and personal with the technique of making Hakka bamboo hats. Want to know what he took away from the shooting? Our camera will take you behind the scenes of Shurfu. I, I had the privilege to work before with the Shenzhen Daily team. First, because all the team is super friendly, and we always have a great time. And second, because we always go to very interesting places. Like usually as a regular citizen, you would not go. So if you tell me we're gonna make 10 videos, I'll say, let's do it. Because I know it will be super interesting. And I think these kind of projects are awesome because it will reflect this cultural heritage that Shenzhen actually has, that people don't know. It gives uh, me a lot of opportunities to learn more about local culture and illustrate in a better way what the Chinese culture is for my own videos. I know Chinese culture is so extensive and you have a lot of different regions and people, languages, food. So when I have the chance to go to these kind of places and learn something and even making videos using these elements of the Chinese culture, I'm always super excited. So I can't wait to go there and learn something new about this hat. First, uh, I didn't know it takes such a careful process to make this kind of hat, right? Yeah, I was asking the chef who told me to take like a day and a half to finish just one hat, but behind that there's a whole process of exposing this material to the sun, and there are some tasks that are designed for men, other for women, so I think it's quite specialized, all the different steps. So I think it's magical, all the process behind it. You never know, right? You just grab it, you just see it in a store, you just see people wearing that. But the story behind it is super interesting. So I'm glad I have the chance to have access to this kind of process. It's the first set of the first set. It's already very good. Especially this one, Yao Mei. He learns and learns. He needs to have patience. To do it. 还有是听话，我教你怎么做，你就怎么做。他已经做到了。I can't wait for the next、uh, visit and the next video. I know it's all related to intangible culture,、uh, so I think those places we're gonna visit, those videos we're gonna make, are going to be also super interesting as well.